Hello there, I'm Albert Kaufman. I'm a Constant Contact partner. I live in Portland, Oregon, and I get your newsletter. And I have a couple of features of Constant Contact that I'd like to share with you that I think will help your organization. Um, some of them are about how to make your newsletter more shareable, and some of them are just some new features of Constant Contact that you may or may not be using. And so there'll probably just be a couple minutes uh, my intention here is really just to help you out. And uh, if you're interested in working with a Constant Contact partner, everyone who has a Constant Contact account gets that for free. So if you're curious or interested, feel free to write back and we can talk more about it. But for now, um, just hopefully enjoy this demo. It's going to be short. It's going to be very concise and clear. And let's get on with it. All right. First with the screen sharing. So this is a, a new, this is the new editor. If your screen doesn't look like this, particularly on the left-hand side where these blocks are, um, you're probably not using the latest editor and you might want to switch. Um, first off, let me just show you uh, in the header area, something that's kind of new um, that's available is this ability to personalize your email. Uh, they say that personalizing your email by adding people's first names into the subject line or wherever um, leads to a lot more higher open rates. People like to see their name. Okay, so second up, I wanted to show you that um, you have the, the ability now to add in social share buttons. That's these. If you do that maneuver that I just did, you can put this anywhere in your email, and then you can edit it. Um, so, for instance, you can edit it to get rid of any social networks that you're no longer wanting to support. Um, you can also uh, change what this says. You, know, you can say, share this with a friend. And then um, that should change here. And so that's it. That's just a little simple thing that one can do to increase the um, ability of your fans to help you with marketing. Because when they see this, they can share this out to uh, their friends on Facebook or uh, LinkedIn in this case. Um, another thing that I really highly recommend that people do is um, add in, uh, let's see, a little bit of text. And that would be your, you as a web page link. You can just say, you can leave it saying you as a web page, or you can change this text to say something like, use this URL to share this on social media, however you want to do it. Um, but this then sits there and it can be moved around. Um, it can be right justified. You can, of course, change the size of the font. You can uh, change the color if you want to make it a little bit less visible. But whatever you do, it's nice to have it. As a reader, I have to say that I really appreciate it when your emails have this feature because then I can take that URL and I can email it to somebody, I can post it on social media, I can put it on next door, all sorts of different places. So this is a kind of a nice feature to have. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Next up, I'm just gonna talk about, one of my favorite features is um, this ability now that you have to, if you, I'm sorry, that's not what I intended to do. Let's just go back. Um, well, I'll just use it just as it is. Let's say you have some text. What you can do now with that text is you can create a link, just like you always could, to a web page, let's say. Let's say I'm sending people to <clears throat> my thank you page. What I can do now is click this enable click segmentation. And what this does is allows me to add people to a new list and then send them to a place that maybe is relevant. So in this case, if I add them to this list, they are now being redirected to a website that says, thank you for joining this particular list. All is well, you don't have to do anything more. <clears throat> what this does is enable you to segment your list a little bit further out. So let's say you have donors within your list. You might say, you know, send them to a donate page. And if they click on donate, they go on to the donors list because they are obviously people who are interested in that or what have you. So <clears throat> this is just a way <clears throat> to segment your list. It's really quite fantastic. <clears throat> Give that a try. 
And then the last thing I wanted to show you is something that allows you to <clears throat> well, this is just fantastic as well. This little read more feature is, is lovely. You can click on this area and edit the image, edit the article heading, uh, edit to your heart's content. Um, and that all happens right here. So let's say I put in uh, this particular address. What it'll do is it'll go out and grab a picture from that page. Uh, okay, let's just, just use my website. I said this was gonna be concise. Okay, so here's a picture of me, my website title, um, some information about me, and then this can be adjusted I can change the uh, color or I can actually change just about everything on here. And then this link will take the person to the article. So last but not least, I wanted to show you one more feature and that is you've finished with your email, you've made it. And now one great feature that uh, is maybe not obvious to everybody is this little resend to non-openers. What this does is it allows you to change uh, the time that you're going to send this to whatever you want. Um, and this will go out to people who haven't received this uh, before. And you can, you can just change the title however you want to. Um, you can't add personalization right here and you can't adjust the pre-header text. But you can resend this to non-openers. And what that does is it basically bumps up your open rates um, to another 10 to 15%. And so that's fantastic. That's just, you know, we used to all just send our newsletters a second time um, and hope that, you know, more people would see it, but this sort of does it for you automatically. So anyway, those are just a couple of features that I wanted to show you. Again, if you're interested in working with me uh, a little bit further as a constant contact partner, it's free to you. Um, I can tell you more about that, but otherwise I just wanted to really help you and your organization get a couple more features going in your uh, constant contact account. Um, one I forgot to mention is that you can uh, increase the spacing on your email and that is makes it more readable. And I also wanted to encourage people to use more contrast. So black lettering on a white background is really the best. And otherwise you are um, at risk of not being seen so well, especially on phones. That's it. Hope you have a great New Year's and thank you for doing what you're doing. Um, generally, I, sub I subscribe to newsletters, uh, especially locally of organizations that I love uh, what they do. And um, at this point in my life and career, I'm really just here to enjoy life and support the good things that are out there. So that's what this is about. Feel free to share it with folks if you want to. And otherwise, and if you have any questions, feel free to write me back at albert at albertideation.com. Okay, take care.